time to do some recycling today. Now some Finnish people are really crazy about recycling and we are one of those people we want to take care of the environment but some people aren't like our neighbor we just saw him put batteries into the basic trash that's a no-no that's definitely a no-no yeah that's enough about recycling um, I'm here to talk to you about regrets and uh, straight forward to it what is my biggest regret and I think it's that I listened to too much people. I listened to too much people. That's my, that's my biggest regret. When I was about 27 years old, I realized that I've listened to too much opinions, to too much what people think about me, because I was really trying to make people like me for a whole lot of different reasons. And it wasn't right. And it really... Uh, held me down a lot to just think what people think about you and just to listen to their opinions and as soon as I got rid of that I just let go of those opinions of those things that people had to say and I didn't listen to them well basically I did listen to them but not take it in consideration that much and I realized that I had so much potential in a lot of stuff. One example here is that when I was 16 years old, I realized that I was really fascinated about Asia, about Japan especially, and I wanted to visit that place so much. I played a lot of video games, I even watched anime, I read manga, I learned a lot about the culture and the sites and everything and I just really wanted to visit that place to see those sites myself but many people told me that you're too young to travel and you should think of a place that more that's more closer to home etc and I never got to go there because I listened to a lot of those opinions those opinions they stayed me till I was 27 I really, I never got to go to Japan because I just, I, I listened to everybody else, what they had to say. Go with somebody who you know, you should go with other people. But what I read about Japan, people traveling on their own, it's, it's fairly the safest, one of the safest countries in the world. So there's no problem going there by yourself. But I just listened listened a lot and I never went there now we're actually we're budgetizing and we're saving money up for a travel or, or a trip and hopefully that's gonna be Japan someday but at, as the world is going how the world is going on right now I don't even know when I'm gonna travel the next time and that's that's a big bit of a bummer so yeah that's that is my biggest regret and that's why I want to tell you guys, don't listen to others, or uh, listen to others, but don't take them so seriously. Don't take those things into consideration that much. And once you let go, you're gonna start to see the potential you have and the things you can actually do. And it's just, it's, it's amazing what people can do when they just don't give a f I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you should always give a little bit. Yeah, you just always should give a little f I guess. Is that a saying? Why do I swear? I'm not used to swearing on camera, and I'm not gonna start swearing on camera. But, the missus, 
I mean, where's that light? Um, the missus is cleaning up the oven and changing up some, uh, changing up the lights. And I was supposed to get this kind of small light from the store. Uh, hopefully, I can find one. So let's go get that and head back home after that. Okay, so where are the lights? The lights. Okay, so here are the lights. So now I just gotta find this kind of light from somewhere there. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. They didn't have any of those lights. You have to go to a specific store that specializes in lamps or something. I don't know. That's that's pretty unique, but yeah, let's head home. Honey, I'm home. Ei niillä ollut niitä polttimoita. Aha. Sanovat, että pitää käydä jossakin erikoisliikkeessä, jos haluaa niitä. Okay. Mä haluan kysyä sulta yhden kysymyksen. Onko sulla minkäänlaisia katumuksia sun elämässä? Mikä on semmonen isoin katumus, mikä tuntuu? Mikä tää juttu Se on mun päivän teeman katumus. No, eniten karu sitä, että olin vihainen isälle, kun se kuoli. Oh. Tai että siis me joutuu sovussa. Silloin kun se kuoli. Mm. Olisin voinut olla myös hyvä tytär, mutta ei. Mutta no ei, sitä tarkoittaa, että sä et ollut hyvä tytär. Sähän teit aika paljon se eteen. Mm. Sä hoidit sitä ja teit kaikkea sen vuoksi. Mutta niin, se on varmaan iso. Okei. Okay. That's sad. So everybody has regrets. If somebody says that they don't have regrets, I call bullshit because everybody does or they just don't know it yet. It's not the matter of living without regret, it's getting over those regrets. It's moving on forward. It's just how you're gonna do it, how you're gonna get forward. Sometimes you just have to forget and move. Sometimes you have to do something about them. Like for example, if you have done, haven't done something. If you haven't done, if you regret that you haven't done something, go and do it. I know some things can't be done right now, or some things are just, you can't do them never again, but you just have to move on. And it's about the fact that you gotta find a way. So that said, this is the end of the video. And I haven't said this in a while, but if you like my videos, click that like button. If you really like my videos, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon and everything. I really appreciate it and I'll be seeing you on the next one.